What's up everybody, Tam here, and today we're going to be talking about how and when to play cards in the card game universes. This video is not about strategy, mind you, it's about explaining the mechanical process of playing the game. The first thing we need to do when attempting to play a card is a small but very important step, and that's to see our symbol chain. If you look at your starting character, they have three resource symbols on the left side of their card. You can only play cards with at least one of these three symbols on them. It's possible to play cards in your deck that match only one or two symbols with your character, but your card pool has to share the same symbol slash symbols. Look at the top left corner of any universe's card, and you'll find the card's base difficulty. Base difficulty plus card pool progressive or the amount of other cards preceding your attempted card determine the progressive difficulty of the card. Let me explain a bit further. If you play a base three difficulty foundation, your control check needed to pass is three plus zero. If you play another three base difficulty foundation, your progressive difficulty will be four or three plus one for the previous card in your card pool. Every card follows this rule. Making a control check is how we determine if the card passes or not. The way we make a control check is by discarding the top card of our deck and comparing the number in the bottom right corner to the progressive difficulty math we've already done. But what happens when the control check number falls short? Let's say we're attempting to play our third attack of the turn. The progressive difficulty math is 5, the base difficulty of the card, plus 2, one for each preceding card in the card pool. We discard the top card of our deck and check a 3. We can either commit 4 cards or be forced to end our turn. Foundations and assets can be played as what are known as forms. A form can only be played on your turn, and only when no other abilities are currently resolving. Attacks are also primarily played as forms on your turn, but some attacks have the ability to respond and be played as a reversal on your opponent's turn. These will be clearly marked with the keyword reversal on the card. Blocks can only be played during the block step of your opponent's attack. You will know which cards can be blocks because of the shield in the top right corner of the card. Cost is something I have to talk about here because it's a bit complex in nature, just because we are starting to get into abilities. Cost is determined by whatever comes before the colon in any card ability. The letter determines when you're allowed to play the ability, and anything that comes after determines what else needs to be done before it can be played. For example, with a card like Color Spray, the first ability says E colon, which means the cost of the card is it has to be played during the enhanced step. But the second ability says E, remove a card from your discard pile from the game, colon, which means on top of it having to be played during the enhanced step, you also have to remove a card from your discard pile. It's pretty self-explanatory as long as you pay attention to where the colons are. Where it gets a little bit tricky is with action cards. Action cards require you to pay costs before making the check to see if you actually play the card. So with cards like Know the Power of the Abyss, you have to first discard the top 10 cards of your deck, then make your check to see if you can play the card. Just know actions are always played from the hand and can't be built into your staging area face up to use their effects later. Other costs are more or less confusing than that. Just make sure you go slow and read everything carefully. Thank you very much for watching this crash course of uh, universes. If you want to see more content like this, please like, share, subscribe on the channel, and maybe even check us out at patreon.com slash tcguniversity for some extra exclusive content. So from all of us here at TCGU, stay learned.